Are you looking to integrate JotForm with Discord because you want to send your submissions to Discord? Well, I'm going to show you how on this video. So let's go jump over to my desktop. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to integrate JotForm with Discord. You might have several reasons why you want to send your submissions to Discord. You might have a fan base, your teammates, or maybe just people you want to let them know that you have a form submission. You can even use them for social proof or just keep track of them. Okay, so let's get started with this automation. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new form for this purpose. So let's go into create a form. We're gonna start from scratch and we'll select classic form. Okay, this opened up our job form builder. Let's drag in some elements for this automation. So let's ask for the full name. We'll ask for a simple question, a drop down, and the email address. So we'll just ask a simple question like, hmm. okay, and for the drop down question, we would say, there we go, and we're gonna add some options here. For example, Google. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna leave it that way. Now, how are we going to integrate? Now for this integration and this automation, we are going to use Pavly Connect. You have the option also to use Zapier, Integromat, or any other automation software that lets you connect JotForm with Discord. Now, before we start the automation, let's go ahead and create a server for this purpose. In case you already have a server that you want to use, that's fine. You can select the one that you already have. In this case, I already have Discord open right here and I'm going to add a server. I'm gonna create my own and this is gonna be for my friends, just an example. And we're just gonna name this. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna say server for the name. Okay, I've just created a server. Now, what do we need from our server? Let's go into the drop down menu right here and we're gonna go into our settings. So let's go into edit server profile. No, server settings, here we go. We're gonna go into our integrations and we're gonna select webhook. So let's go ahead and create webhook. There we go. Let's add a copy webhook URL. There we go, we have it. So it's gonna be named SpideyBot and it's gonna be on the channel general, okay? If we create another channel, we can also tie that to the automation. So we have our form ready and we have our Discord server ready. Now let's get into the automation part. So let's go into Pavly Connect, and in this case, we're gonna create a new workflow, and we're gonna name this, okay, let's go ahead and create it. Here we go, and the first thing that we need is the trigger. What is the trigger going to be? Well, it's the trigger is going to be every single time that someone submits a jot form form, okay? So let's search for jot form right here. We're going to select it the trigger event every time there's a new response. And we're gonna need this webhook right here to set it up on JotForm. Let's go ahead and copy it. Let's go into the JotForm we just built. Let's give it a name. There we go. We're gonna go into settings, integrations, and we are going to search for webhook. Here we go, let's go ahead and select it. And this is where we're going to add our link right here. Let's go ahead and complete integration. There we go. Okay, let's click on finish and we've set that up. There we go, now it's integrated. Now we're gonna go back into Private Connect just to show you something quickly. It's waiting for a webhook response. Since this form has never been submitted, it doesn't have data to receive it. So let's submit it one time just for testing purposes so it sends that data. Go into publish, open in a new tab, and let's fill this out, this, this form with just demo information and a test email. There we go, let's go ahead and submit it. And let's go into our Pavly Connect. It should receive it, here we go. Now it received the information and now it knows that the element is tied to each one of these labels and values. That way we can tie it to Discord, okay? So that process is ready. Let's go into the next step. So we've finished the trigger. Now we're going to work on the action. So every time that the trigger is triggered, it's gonna do this action. In this case, we are going to search for Discord and we're gonna select it. 
There we go, the action event. So we're gonna select send channel message. Okay, let's go ahead and connect it. And now it's gonna ask us for the webhook URL that we generated on Discord. Let's go ahead and grab it again. Let's copy the webhook. Let's add it right here. There we go. And for the message, this is where we're going to format it. So we're gonna tell it from the elements on JotForm, this is what I want to have on the message every single time that it's submitted. So let's search on the JotForm responses. And for example, we could say, hey, you know what? We might need the form ID. So we'll just call it over here, ID. And this is going to be the variable. Let's click enter. There you go. Let's add another piece of information. So we want to know the name of this person, space, and we'll add the last name. Here we go. The next one is a question, which was, here it is. How did you hear about us? Okay. And then we're going to tie it to the variable. So we're going to say, friend and the next question was let me check really quickly was what's their what search engine do you prefer okay so we're going to set that there and then the variable that's going to be tied to it will be this one and last we're going to say the email just so we know that each one corresponds to each one of these so here we go and there we go. We should be ready for this one in case you have different type of elements and different type of information that you want to have displayed every single time well, to send to Discord. Well, we select it from here. There's several things that we have, for example, submission ID, the webhook, the IP, other things like, for example, the raw request slug. We have the date, the type, and that kind of information that we might need. We could give the bot a name. So in this case, we'll just say, for example, Drop form bot and we can we can add a bot icon if we like via URL but we're gonna keep it like that and text to speech we're gonna keep it simple now let's save and send a test request there we go it's just been sent let's go into our discord let's go back here we go dot form bot just posted this information so that means that if someone submits that's how we're going to receive it now we can think, for example, if this was a submission for a concert, well, we can say, well, we, we don't need to display all the information, but we can say, hey, you know what, Jorge just, just, just um, bought a ticket for the concert. And we can use it as a social proof or maybe just keep track of information. Let's test it now, okay? So the automation is ready, okay? It's on and we're gonna go into our form. We are going to publish it we are going to open it up in incognito mode, okay? So that means that we are not logged in. This could be anyone that fills out this form and we'll just fill it out, for example. And George Aguilar, how to hear about us? We're gonna say family and we're gonna say Bing and we'll just add a test email. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. Let's check out our Discord. And here it is. It's been sent to Discord super fast and quick. We have the ID because that's what we said. We have the name. We have how did you hear about us? It's family. What search engine do you prefer? I selected Bing and the email. So you can see that we have text that I've set and then I've added a variable to it that's tied to our form. You can do several things with this. Like I mentioned before, in this case, if we use this as a social proof to let our fans know on our Discord channel that someone just submitted a form, someone just bought a ticket, someone just bought a product, or whatever reason you want to use this integration with, well, you have the option to just add the variables that you might need to send them here. Now, you can further automate this. Maybe you want to set a delay for it. That is possible with Pabli Connect. So for example, we have steps in between. I can add an action right here or after it. For example, if I want to send it to a second channel of Discord, I can add another automation here. But for example, if I wanted to add a simple delay right here, we can go ahead and set a delay there. So it's not so fast or automatic right there. 
We can say delay for minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So for example, we can say, hey, you know what? Send this after 15 minutes. So it's not instant. We make it, we have that option available. And we can do further automations with this to take advantage of this form response. We can send it to our email marketing. We can do other things with it, with this automation. But there you go. That is how you automate the process to send your jot form submissions to Discord. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.